Hey everyone, welcome to Happy. This is a friendly reminder that if you're like me, you've left some plants in pots for a year or two. They're busting out of their pots, roots going all over the place, and before it's too late, now, late winter is the time to get these plants either planted or at least those pots out of the ground and process these roots so that they don't just keep expanding, getting so fat that you'll never get them out of the ground. Welcome to Happy. Hey, wake up! <laughs> this is a Che tree. She's in a gigantic pot. I stuck her in the pot because I was going to plant her uh, in the following spring. Then spring came and went, summer, I said, oh, I'll do it in fall. Fall came and went, I said, I'll do it in winter. You get the idea. Well, this one we are going to plant now, today. This is a California che tree. She's got roots just busting out of the pot. The good news is, if I can squeeze all these roots out, she's got some good root structure and we're gonna plant her in the ground but our other plants what we're gonna do is pull them out of the ground sever the roots and just lay them on the ground or maybe put them into a little bit of soil to keep those roots cool behind me is our planting bed for chokeberries so we got chokeberries every about three feet apart ten plants check out our chokeberry vids it's an awesome nutritional fruit. In between those chokeberries, I overwintered uh, a collection of potted plants with the intent to uh, plant them the following spring. Like I said in the intro, spring turned into fall, turned into spring, turned into fall. My goodness. At some point, you need to get these girls out of the ground, still in the pots, but sever the roots from just expanding further and further becoming more those roots becoming more and more critical to the plant basically what we're going to do is well simple sever the roots right at the edge of the pot the obvious question is does that kill the tree and the answer is no it really doesn't help the tree it's going to decrease some growth but you want to also prune uh, excess limbs above, prune her back real good. So when you do sever those roots, you're not, uh, the roots have less um, above ground branches to feed. The other thing we're doing, in a sense, is creating something similar to like a bare root fruit tree that we've all seen in a big box store or we've received through the mail. When you get those bare root fruit trees, they're basically massively severed roots. Tall, tall tree with a little bit of root structure. And that's because the tree is dormant. So now is the time to do this. That's why this is a friendly reminder, maybe to myself, so I had to press the gas pedal. We started processing these trees. I got a Che, Osage Orange, uh, American Plum. Further down are a couple of native trees that I potted for some reason. There's just so many native trees coming out of the ground. And a shit ton of Sweet Scarlet Gumi. Let's go take a look at the Sweet Scarlet Gumi. Oh, by the way, this is a collection of beach plum. These beach plum are gonna do fantastic. A little bit of root there, severed. Probably that little piece in there, severed. I don't remember each root that I severed. You can see how deep into the soil these pots were embedded. It's native to North America, by the way. You don't find them in large pots too often. 
And anyways, it's a really cool plant. It grows small by nature, so this wasn't really a big, big lift. All through here are a whole bunch of sweet scarlet gumi from our very initial vid when we were spitting seeds out on the table. Anyways, some of these are been in here for two years, a little four inch pot. So we're gonna up pot her into a one gallon. We're gonna keep those roots right there. But again, this is very, very salvageable. Sweet Scarlet Gumi is really one of the very earliest plants to flower. So what you're seeing in here is a boatload of buds coming out of here. So now is the time for these uh, to be up potted and processed. You can feel the root. Grab the root, grab as much as, of it as you can. For something like this, it's already in a one gallon pot. We got to put them up for sale. Uh, we don't deliver any, we don't deliver these uh, through the mail. I, I really don't know how and I don't trust my mailing skills. Pop this girl out of the pot. There's a root system looking fantastic. You see all those white roots in there, but you see it's very airy in here. So what I can probably do with this girl is maybe sever the longer root and just get her back in a one gallon pot and uh, get her back in a one gallon pot and fill it up with more soil. I'm gonna have to do that right away. She's just absolutely thriving, all these roots. Well, we're gonna continue down this row. I got a Chickasaw plum, a beauty berry, and down towards the end was a really, really small, it started off as a very small Texas mulberry, but now is the time, this is a friendly reminder, now is the time to process your potted plants. You gotta prevent the roots from just going further and further through the ground it's just going to be more and more the tree or shrub will go deeper into shock the further the roots expand through the soil we got a california che tree that basically got demolished here when we took her out of the ground all the way around and it is this root system and I think on the other side, the pot's actually split just a hair. That's how much force from these roots come out. There's a lot of root system still inside the plant, but you want to do that severing in the, in the winter when the plant is dormant. And I don't know if you can see, but she is really, really tall. It's the end of uh, today's President's Day, I think. February 20th, go George Washington. Uh, that's one of my heroes, by the way. George Washington was a man. And his family totally participated in the, uh, in the uh, Revolutionary War too. I mean, that was, I mean, that was all hands. Anywho, damn rebels. This one's gonna get planted, so I left a little more, as much root as I could popping out of the pot. I don't know if we can salvage all these roots uh, taking her out of this pot. I don't cut the pot open because we really need pots out here. Large pots aren't easy to come by and if you treat them well, uh, treat the pots well, they last a really long time. Perhaps I need a pot less and plant more. The ones that I severed the roots on maybe are planted not so deep in the soil, but I still want to leave the bottom portion of the pot uh, so it's cool from the... So they're maybe about this deep in the ground, if you can see. Just a few inches is what I'm getting at. Uh, that was a struggle. What we got here it's just a ton of roots down at the bottom of the pot. Finer roots as you go up and at the very 
top are these feeder roots that are gathering moisture, nutrients. I'm actually not a, a root expert, but we, I want to learn a lot more about roots and what they do. So I think uh, for the most part, these roots down here, if you can see just how big that girl is, um, you know, that's to anchor, for sure to anchor this big girl. Saved all the roots I can. We're gonna do a little unwinding now. See how that root just unwound? Okay, a couple other girls going around and around. We just kind of get them out a little bit. Sticking out, we got just this big, beautiful, luscious hole here. It's five foot by five foot and it's deep as hell. So we'll get her in there. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little biotone going first. Uh, soak it and then we'll get her in. Gonna actually run a string, measure her out. This is a high dollar measuring stick, 15 foot from our olive tree. And uh, that's it. I just want to show you the root system right quick. So that's our two cents from Hepi. We're planting, planting, planting. Uh, end of february it's a good time to get your girls into the ground we're getting a couple of, of plants flowering already the uh cherry cornelian cherry and the apricot is flowering the cornelian cherry just opened up february 20th and i think in a couple of days it'll be 80 degrees 79 or something Take care of yourself. Take care of someone else if you can. Love you.